like to go ahead and introduce Kyle. So I'd like to use this time to skip a status report on where last nine is. Uh, I'm sure everybody's uh, familiar with the fact that we are working on uh, the next generation uh, lasso, uh, both in the language and for the server. Uh, lasso 9 was a very ambitious product project. Um, it's a complete, completely new platform for us. It's a rewrite of the core of Lasso. Uh, Lasso has been around for quite a few years, and anybody who writes code knows that uh, code does age, and sometimes it's um, important to go ahead and bite the bullet and take on some of these ambitious uh, projects. Um, we have many goals for Lasso 9. Uh, performance has always been one of them. Uh, we wanted to be able to at least match, but ideally better performance of all the competing languages that we're up against. Um, and this is important because uh, people like to do new and interesting things with the language whether it's uh, serving their web uh, sites or just using it as a language uh, as you would you know, on the command line or for accomplishing a general purpose task. Um, so we were aiming for better performance. We're also aiming for scalability. Lasso serves many different kinds of websites. We have uh, small, uh, mom and pop business websites, and we also have people who are um, bringing their ambition to the web as well uh, for uh, high volume websites. And so we wanted to be able to support all these kinds of users. And so scalability was very important, and that means that your website can uh, handle the traffic that your users are throwing at it. And everybody wants lots of users on their websites, and the last thing you want is for your website to fail you. And so what we've done is try and kick it up several notches, and to bring the performance that everybody really expects. Um, another, another goal that we had was to be able to write lots of the lasso, lots of the library, the, the, uh, the uh, tags and uh, methods and functions that everybody is used to using, we wanted to be able to write much of those in Lasso itself. And there's uh, many reasons for that. Uh, one is Lasso is a great language to use. And if you have everything written in uh, C and C++, as has traditionally been the case, it's harder to find people to work with that um, skillfully. And so if we write lots of Lasso in itself, it makes it uh, tweakable by you, people makes it easier for us to make it open source so that uh, individuals can go in and tailor the system to their own needs. Um, another goal that we had was native compilation. And what this means is that you can take your Lasso code and you can compile it to the, to the language, to the code that the machine is running. Uh, there's lots of reasons to want to do this. One of which is uh, so you can write a Lasso program and compile it and distribute it without the source code. Um, now this is uh, building upon what we've had for many years now with Lasso apps. And uh, it's, as I'm sure you're all familiar, Lasso apps allow you to take your application and distribute it without the source code. And we're building on that by letting you natively compile these apps uh, also, with native compilation, what we've tried to do is let you write your libraries in Lasso. So, a lot of the, if you're distributing code, say on a tag swap or someplace like that, you don't necessarily have to give away the source code. Um, also, there are security reasons for not wanting the source code on your actual website. I, I believe I was hearing about an exploit just the other day that allowed people to dig into your source code and see uh, what's going on there. It's not good to embed you know, secret information in your source code, but sometimes it happens. So if you can natively compile it, it makes it much, much more difficult to get to that. Um, and I mentioned more open source. Uh, one of the goals with Lasso 9 was to be able to open source our uh, Java APIs 
um, our PDF implementations, um, things like the inline is open source and it's all written in Lasso, so you can go in there and tweak it if you want. Uh, it makes it easier for us to fix bugs in there and quickly get them out to people.